Hey guys, we've got news on Global for September 8th, and joining me this week to discuss the news is Rune905. So, say hello, Rune. Hello, everyone. How are you? Pretty good. Yeah, so, yeah. My name is Esteban, Rune905 in the in-game. Uh, thank you for having me here. Sure thing. Glad you could join. Um, so you joined, uh, you joined this week because, you know, your schedule was very busy, you didn't have a lot of time any other weeks, but unfortunately, you joined on a little bit unimpressive of a week. It is Ronso Warrior Kamari this week and two Neovisions Awakened. Um, in the JP server, the ultimate Regina was also at the same time as these units. I guess she's being moved to a different week for global, but, um... How about Kamari? Um, is this a unit that you're really, you know, hyped about, Rune, or not so interested in? What do you feel about Kamari? Well, sadly, it's a total skip. I like Kamari in the, you know, FF10 universe, but honestly, not in FFDs. It's a total, it's a dud. He he kind of is. Yeah, his unit is very very unfortunate, and he got basically no buffs whatsoever which feels real bad so the banner he's got is a t pretty pretty typical banner i think it's forty-two thousand for the pity um you get a few perks but nothing really relevant like no card no armory ticket nothing like that it's a pretty boring banner and then the unit himself so it's an slb unit and this unit is just confused he is so confused about what he wants to be <laughs> Yeah, like, they, they try to, you know, play homage to his character. It just doesn't translate, you know, in FFBE, and sadly, they didn't buff him, so, unfortunately, he's our crypt already. Exactly, exactly. So, he, he, um, he has a magical, you know, mage SLB, which is a light damage, um, you know, finisher move. Uh, he's also got a physical-typed jump. Um, the problem here is his stats are really terrible. They're like really bad. He has very, very low flat attack um, and basically even worse magic. So his LB is just absolutely bad, period. You're pretty much never going to use that unless, like, I guess you really wanted to force him onto a light magic team. But I, I, don't, I don't know. It's just not, it's not good. It's not good at all. Um, and then his jump is terrible damage. Like, really, really low damage compared to stuff like Sky and all that. So, and, and wow. even then, and even then, like, um, like you know, Rune, uh, jumpers are just really kind of handicapped at the moment because they can't get Sylvie's Amplifies, her good amps. Right, right. And that's very unfortunate. I, I feel like uh, they, they go back and forth with trying to, you know, fix jumpers and... Suddenly, you know, when they bring a new mechanic or improve on a on a existing mechanic, dumpers just don't, you know, they, they end up getting the, you know, the shorthand or part of the stick, you know. I, I know, because yeah. they, they keep having more, like, new gear for jumpers, and it helps them out a decent amount, but, like, as soon as that new gear comes out, something else seems to happen that pushes them back down again. Like, as soon as we got, like, right. Ricard stuff... Here comes Sylvie to do 100% amplifies that jumpers just can't get. It, it, and it, ruins everything. Yeah. it ruins it. It's terrible. I know. And yeah, it's so sad. And now it here, doesn't help that he's locked to you know water you know jumper. And I get it. At least you know Kane had two different elements to you know play around with. But uh, I guess I don't know. Kimari just is. He's just not. You know, has low base stat, like you said. It's, he's just not, he's not there. Mm -hmm. And I actually, I, actually, I actually forgot about that, but like you mentioned, the Ronso jump you can see right here, yeah, it's a water-locked jump, which is kind of like par for the course. Just about all the jumpers except Roberta are pretty much element-locked. Like, you know, uh, Sky is locked to wind, Kane is locked to light or thunder, Ricard is locked to wind, um... I guess Mazurka is not elemental, but she's horrible right. even, even with the intrinsic. So who cares? <laughs> yeah, correct. I, like she's still a jumper. She's still, you know, she's still gonna like um, suffer from the, you know, not being able to get the Sylvie amps. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, all that being said, even though I did just you know downplay jumpers pretty heavily, 
Sky is the one exception because Sky is double dipping on all jump mods because Sky is a double handed jump which gets the double handed variance no matter what but hers also hits twice the same as a dual wielder so she is the only dragoon in the game that double dips on every single jump modifier so even though even though Sky cannot get the 100% amplifies from Sylvie with all the jump gear as well as this new piece of gear Kamari's pendant it can oh. still potentially be worth putting Sky on a party in like Dark Visions. That being said, we don't have Dark Visions right now. So the earliest Dark Visions is going to be like minimum a month from now, potentially longer. And it's hard to recommend pulling something for Sky that makes her only like decently usable and not super meta. And it might not even be relevant in a month and a half or so it might be power crept by then so i don't i don't know how do you feel about this kamari's pendant uh rune like i feel it really doesn't change as far as 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 far as meta goes and competitive you know ffbe uh it does not change anything but granted you know i know there's a lot of negative talk about about the new units and new jp units and, and etc but you know, we're not saying that they're bad and they can't, you know, uh, clear content at all. I mean, every unit seems to be really good at clearing the general content. But when it comes to the competitive level, it just, yeah, it, it falls behind. Like even, even, I would say even for Sky too, like, it's still questionable, right? Because it, it'll still be locked to a wind or maybe the final stage is okay to use. Right, but I just don't feel like um, at the new uh, Kimari STMR is like worth chasing for. Exactly. I kind of feel the same way. Um, I was planning to pull all the Dragoon gear. Like, you know, I went for a Ricard's banner because I really wanted the Ricard helm and card. I did his entire step up. You know, I got it. And I was planning to chase Kamari's STMR and then the upcoming Riku's STMR, the, the Riku coming probably in a few weeks. Because uh, hers is the same thing, another Dragoon jump damage, but hers is only for females, but that's coming later. I was going to chase all of this and go for, like, the super overpowered Sky for Dark Visions, but I'm, I'm, I'm like, really questioning it these days. I, I don't know if this is going to be the right call for me to do that because I, I, I don't know. It's... It, because we because don't global, we... global does you know they they have been uh you know changing things here and there just adding you know they're adding content and and that's good and and but we don't know right we don't know if at the time and the riku comes with the new dragoon gear you know technically um if it's worth chasing for is it, is it really going to make a difference right so we don't know what meat we might get global exclusive by then and i feel like kimari right now is a is a great example of is it worth it or not you know mm -hmm. the global meta is so different right so it, it really questions you know whether it's worth chasing what i think i might do is like use 10 tickets just pray for that awesome luck and just to get it super cheap, and if so, great. I've got, I've got a nice toy to play with. But I think beyond that, I just can't justify it. I, I really can't. I don't think. Now, I do we know if the if, if the extra fifty mod, I believe it is for the jumps. Do we know if it's stackable or? Uh, well, well th this mod is not stackable. No, the, this Kamari's pendant oh. does not stack. So that one, you only okay. need one copy. Okay. Yeah, it won't stack. I was about to say that chasing two is 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 just too much. Yeah. No. Mm. Uh you know, you know. That being said, it doesn't say on the news unstackable. Maybe. Right. So it doesn't say it over here, and and that's why I was like, it, it, it's is is that like the indirectly global buff? I guess I don't know. Yeah, it could be a global upgrade being being stackable because it doesn't say in the news unstackable. Um. Right. Now, I don't want anyone to go pull for this on the assumption that it does stack, because it may still not in the game. Wait until people do, do, do data mines and all that, because we, we can usually tell stackable or not from the data mine. So we'll, we'll, we'll know for sure, like Wednesday night, you know, depending on your time zone. But um, 
It doesn't say unstackable in the news, so... I didn't see it anywhere, yeah. Maybe they changed it. We'll see. Uh, but like I mentioned, the unit himself, it's sad to say, but he's real bad. He is real right. bad. Like, you're, you're not going to use him unless you're a huge Kamari fan, in which case, you know, all the power to you. Go for it. Right. Which, again, they're usable in, in the general content. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, assuming you're not fighting a boss that, you know, resists water or absorbs water for the matter. But uh, they're all usable. It's just not for the competitive, you know, level, right? Not for TV, not exactly. for Cal. Exactly. So. Yeah. Uh, and as far as his vision card goes, um, Kamari, <laughs> Kamari not passed. It's kind of a kind of a funny vision card because of the, the, the scene from the game when he's fighting the, uh, the other Ronso guys. But um, the cards, like... I don't know. I don't want to say like it's no an okay card. <laughs> what was that? Like, no pun intended, Kamari, right? But <laughs> They're, like, trolling him right now, right? Uh, oh, I know, I know, I know. That, that, that's, the scene was hilarious. Um, but this card, like, it's so hard to recommend a card these days that doesn't have flat stats on it. And this card doesn't have flat stats. So, like, I, I just can't see this being used. Even for newer players, like, even my new account that I've been playing for, like, a week... That count has already gotten to the point that I will just never again wear a card without flat stats. I've got like three cards already with flat stats on them that are universal. So like, even for a brand new player, you're not going to use this. You're just not. Right. So it's 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 terrible. It's it's a terrible card. <laughs> <laughs> the generic um, is is not. It's not good. Mm-hmm. And then the New Visions Awakened unit. So, Unileska. So, continuing on the theme of units that are terrible. Unileska. Right. Right. It's, she's so bad. So, are you familiar with this unit from the JP server, Rune? Well, yeah. Actually, I was, you know, a big fan of Evokers, and I used to pull on them, even though they were bad, um, in the early stages before, you know, uh, NB Terra came in. Um and I did pull for Junaleska. I did pull for the her STMR and whatnot, you know. But um, yeah, I'm familiar. So she is a non-elemental evoker, and she's just bad. <laughs> and that right there, that right there says it all. She is non-elemental, and that is a right. death sentence. Right. So she has enormously high modifiers. Her LB modifier for evocation is by memory, I think, 540x evocation, which is crazy crazy high right. but it's non-elemental and the non-elemental for people that don't know it's not just the fact that you can't imperil if that was the only problem it'd still be fine you know you can't imperil you imperil the damage fine you're but you still got a huge modifier the problem is that just about every single relevant boss in the game these days has non-elemental resistance. It's a hidden resistance. You cannot see it other than just testing or data mines, but every boss in the game these days has non-elemental resistance. For example, the latest Clash of Wills boss, let me, hopefully this didn't kill the video. I'm gonna open this up real quick. I might've actually, by minimizing that. Let me open up this real quick. The AI from the last, the current boss, 80%. The Clash of Wills boss has 80% non-elemental resistance. That cannot be imperiled. That right. means and, not... And that has been, like, the norm since, like, Era came out in NB Terra, Final Fantasy VI. Like, it, I noticed it's been the norm. Because back in the days, like, let's say, um, Calcabrina used to have, you know, have resistance, you know, like 50% or whatever. But it just became, like, the norm to heavily penalize uh, the non-elemental damage in in since the end the era and yeah it's something that it always used to like you know annoyed me exactly exactly so even though her modifiers are enormous yeah it's the non the, the resistance to non-elemental makes her pretty much completely dead weight completely right. And that was her only upgrade as a Neo Visions Awakening, is she got this huge modifier for her LB. Her regular chains are basically unchanged. They're still terrible. Mm -hmm. So the unit is a it's paperweight. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then Poppy. So she is okay as a Neo Visions Awakening. I don't know. She's 
She's like a really, really budget elemental buffer. So you want to talk about her rune? Right. So Poppy, again, she's just the only upgrade she has, she gets is just like you said it yourself, right? Just a buffer, but only in like just the plain stats uh, and, and the elements that she covers, I guess, water, wind, light. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And, and LB, 250% LB. Like, she's just a very underwhelming buffer. Mm -hmm. um, like, yeah, you can argue, yeah, for budgets, but, yeah, she's not that good either. Yeah. Like, her, her, her best buff is, like, locked to EX3, I believe. Uh, and uh, it's only like a 350, right? A 350. Oh, yeah, wow. for, for her stat buff and her LB buff, yeah, that, that is locked to EX3. But um, the one thing I will mention is she does have 60% amplifies, but the issue is they are single target, they cannot be multicast, and they're on cooldown, and they're only in her trance shift, which has a cooldown to even get into the transform. So basically, she can only amplify one person by 60%, for I think one turn, maybe two turns, but it's single target and it cannot be multicast. So, it's, right, like it's, why, like why? It's, I know it's like this would. Like, why do they do her like that at this age, right? At this time to, uh, of release, like they released her so late, and she might have seen some use, you know, early on, uh, with those, you know, sixty percent elemental, you know, amp amps, mm -hmm. uh, but not right now. Sadly. Exactly. It's just like th there's so many ways they could have fixed her, and there's no global upgrade tag. Mm -hmm. Feels real bad. Uh, yeah, so she's one of those units that have like four skills and doesn't have a multicast on her brave shift, and she just uses a single target sixty percent amp, and that's basically it. And that so, is it. That's that, it. That sums it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible. And then, I, I, I usually don't go over bundles, but they're specifically advertising this Kamari bundle. I would assume because they realize how terrible of a unit Kamari is. So they're giving you like a special bundle to give you extra Kamari shards. Because they, they realize, kind of like, it's kind of like the um, the Final Fantasy IV Reign and the Final Fantasy IV Last Well or whatever they were. Mm -hmm. Like, they realize yeah. they were so bad, so they kind of almost give them away super cheap. Same thing with Kamari. Like they're, basically, they're basically saying, we know how bad Kamari is. We'll make him cheap. So here's a special bundle for him only. I overlooked that because I, I just immediately saw the Fountain of Lapis and that was it. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, the, 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 the Fountain of Lapis is a decent deal, but uh, this one, like... Yeah, I was like, wait, 50 shards? I didn't even see that. <laughs> oh, no, cool. yeah. That's, that's right. just, you know, telling you how bad he is. Mm-hmm. And then the event for the week is a raid. So it's been a while since we have. Since, it's been a while since we've had a raid, hasn't it? Been a room? Been a while? Right, right. So I thought the raid was before the Vision World, but and then I thought the, the the events were swapped. But they were, they were, and th that's kind of the joke because we've had a raid of one kind or another running for something like six to eight weeks at this point. We had Final Fantasy. Um, before that, I forget which one it was. Then we have Final Fantasy XII, and then it got extended because of Facebook. So now we've had the same Final Fantasy XII raid running for like something like a month at this point. Uh, it's going to end in Thursday, and then a new raid is starting up once again. We can never get away from raids 24-7 <laughs> on Brave Exvius. Back to that. Uh, this one is the Unsent Scene. And again, the gear is whatever. It's got some killers on it. Killers are always nice. Um, but it's, you know, whatever. The gear is bad. The maester's robe, just to be honest here. Uh, and then it has two EX fights. So this Spring of Memories is giving more Unifragments. I don't remember NJP um, giving more Unifragments. This may be a global exclusive upgrade of giving more Unifragments. Or maybe it was in JP too. I honestly don't remember. Um, but I it thought so too when I read it. I was like, more shards? I don't remember, you know, being so generous with, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. going to actually get us an EX2 Yuna from completely free sources. So you got one from the mail, one from the Sin Chronicle, 
50 from or, or 50 shards from the chronicle 50 shards from the login bonus and i assume 50 more shards from the sphere more fight so that's pretty awesome an ex2 unit for free that's super cool right if only we can get crowns to go along with the whole package <laughs> oh the, the free crowns that would definitely be nice <laughs> Uh, and also, we get um, the Lingering Dissident. Uh, this is an EX battle. I don't really remember it from the JP server. It was probably simple, I guess. I'll have a guide for it on um, on Thursday, I suppose. But yeah, EX fights. Uh, also, an exploration. So explorations have started making returns in JP. Only in events, though. Not like in the story. But they do, they, they've been doing exploration in the events. Um, so this is the... Uh, oh, what was it called? The little dungeon in Final Fantasy X, after you do the wedding scene, the Titus and Waka go to the dungeon or something, or, or Yuna goes to the dungeon, I don't know. It's basically the dungeon from the Final Fantasy X game, and you've got to go through it and do a few puzzles to get the items. Um, honestly speaking, uh, the puzzles aren't that hard, but if you want to, just like go to the wiki and get a guide for the puzzles. There's like one or two puzzles, and they're, they're pretty simple, but I guess if you don't want to solve them, I'm sure the wiki will have a guide. Of the or I'll have a video on my my channel probably I don't know it's it's not that hard in any case and it gives you right. some gear so I don't know this gear is not great <laughs> right not not good either yeah it's just <laughs> I mean I guess it's to like equip your you know new account with Yuna I guess these gears do you know help help with her gear because evokers are hard to gear let's just you know mm -hmm. yeah let's just yeah. For, for my newer account, uh, yeah, this, this ring would probably be good for Yuna, I guess. I guess it would be. Yeah. Uh, evocation now, it's not bad. And in the armor that from the raid, uh, they get some evocation stats too. I mean, but again, it's more for helping the new account and equipping, you know, a new boker. Mm -hmm. And to um, just to mention that real quick, you know, kind of go off topic slightly, but you did mention it. Um, a few people have asked me, you know, when's the next video for like the new player series that I've been doing. Um, I will tell you guys that for the past, like, the weekend, I've been spending, like, you know, about two hours a day just grinding the story in the new player account, trying to get espers. And that is very slow, very, very long, very boring, but it's got to be done. It's got to be done. So for players that have been looking for my new player stuff, um, it is currently in grind mode as I get through Season 1 for espers. So hopefully that'll be over relatively soon. I can get back to posting, like, you know, trials and dark visions and all that on the new player account. But I, 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 re I really need those espers, and it's got to be done. So I'm just slowly working my way through Season 1, which is so much longer than I remember. Oh, my God, is this a Season 1 take forever. <laughs> <laughs> it is yeah. so long. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's long. Yeah. Uh, I, I get caught up on the latest uh, and the last, you know, addition to the story. Um, I just did it yesterday. So, oh, the season yeah. four stuff? Nice. Yeah. Nice. Um, and we're also getting a trial this week. So the Raphaelesia trial. So this one, this one is probably going to be relatively challenging for many players. Not really challenging to survive. Survival is actually pretty easy on this fight. Um, all you need is a, a tank with really high water resist, a, a magic tank with high water resist, and the survival is not bad. The problem is this boss is crazy bulky um by jp it has 230 percent as its lowest resistance it's got 230 percent wind and earth resist and everything else is so high you can't deal damage with those elements you can only use wind or earth and you basically have to kind of stack enormous imperils so things like the neovisions emperor or the upcoming tulian's bracer we don't have it yet but Tulian gets a 160 Earth in Peril from the story. Probably this update. I think it was the very next update that we're due. Tulian gets a 160 Earth in Peril. Um, and then things like Fields. You know, Mughal Narshi's Field or um, Seagard's Field that stacks in Perils on top. That's the kind of stuff you want for this trial. Right. Or you can pull for Kimari and use Sky. Right? <laughs> Uh, Sky actually would be a decent damage dealer and with her jump, absolutely. Um, uh, you would still need, like, you know, Emperor and potentially Mog as well to do the big... You don't have to have Emperor. Like, for example, I think Chizuru has a 140 uh, Wind in Peril. Summoner Lena in her shift form has a 140 Wind in Peril. These will work as well, but... Um, 
uh, think about this. So it's a baseline of 230 resist based on the JP server, minus only 140. You're only bringing it to a plus 90% resistance. So you're only dealing 10% damage to this boss, which is like nothing. That's why oh. you really have to stack up your imperils. Like you want to use. So for example, if you're using like let's, let's say Chizuru and her 140 imperil, and that was that was your only damage. The boss is at 90% wind resist. You're only dealing 10%. If you then add Mugu Narshi to do another 25% on top, you're then going from 90 to 75% resistance on the boss, and that's a two and a half times damage gain for the entire party. That's why these stacking and perils are such a massive, massive power gain on these kind of trials, and a few more trials going forward the same way. Yeah, because the um, I guess the elemental weakness is the the smallest factor here. So if you can increase that or decrease that, right, by a larger amount, you're gonna it's gonna make the biggest impact. Mm -hmm. Now that being said, it is possible that um, you know global adjust things. Keep that in mind. But uh, that's how it was in the JP. I have actually never killed this on the JP server because I didn't have a good wind or earth damage dealer at the time. Um, I just never, I never have done it. So it'll be definitely be fun for me on Global to go through here, and I'm probably going to use Chizuru as my initial plan. Do you have a Do you have a plan in mind already, Rune? Well, I think uh, I don't have a plan per se, but um, I kind of recall that maybe Seekhard has a Earth in Peril field, or mm -hmm. was it? He does. Yep, yep. Seekhard okay. in his in his Neo Vision shift form. Has a twenty five percent imperil field for Earth on his ship. Yep, absolutely. That yeah. that 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 was that was another popular option in the GP server was the new Tulian with C card combined and going Earth team. Yeah, that's the alternative. Yeah. Um, I think I think Tulian like today right now does have a one forty five Earth imperil. So that's actually better than Chizuru's or Lena's if you don't have the new Emperor. Then you could do. Um, C card plus Tulian, and that would be a combined um, that bring the boss down to seventy percent weakness, which is at that yeah. point you start you know you deal on better damage, so that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, and the rewards are you know killer recipes, etc. And then we get Beast Eater Sense, which gets us ready for the Cerberus trial, which is probably coming out next month. Which again, like so far, you know, we were looking uh, you know forward to these bosses for these you know multi-craftable killers and right now like i have not seen myself crafting you know some of these materials right other than the ones you already get right mm -hmm. uh, with the you know with the enlightenment points oh really uh, I, 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 i've actually used uh, quite a few enlightenment keys to make some uh for the the bird killer for the current yeah, trial i think the bird one yeah that was the only one i did too but that was it like mm. i have not crafted multiple or haven't found the you know need to okay nice um and then the last thing for the week is uh just just an announcement that we're going to be getting another live stream from the brave exvius team on september 11th 7 30 p.m pdt this is obviously adjusted based on your time zone but um tony mm -hmm. and justin will be back again so did you watch the latest live stream they did rune yeah i did what do you think? What do you think of the live stream starting up again? Um, well, I think uh, I think it's a good thing for the uh, for the community and the game. Uh, yeah, I mean, granted, it was the very first live stream, so I was trying not to be critical about it. Um, uh, I, I do recall them having you know problems trying to set it up or whatever, but I think overall they delivered. I think they did a good job. Mm -hmm. I, I, I pretty much agree. Yeah, uh, the the first one they did. Uh, definitely had some technical issues. There were some like microphone problems and stuff. Hopefully for this next one, that's all worked out. We don't have we don't have to go through that again. Um, but overall, you know, I'm definitely glad they're doing this because we kind of had um, you know a gap of like four months after Shally passed that we had like just no communication whatsoever for a really long right. time, and that was kind of unfortunate. So I, I'm I'm really glad to see them starting up again, doing you know it, se it seems like monthly updates of uh, you know. Con uh, news for the players so that's really good right uh, it's a step in the right direction mm -hmm. and that's pretty much it for the for the week uh you know we, we still have vision world going on make sure you farm that up 
um, Clash of Wills does end. The extended Clash of Wills ends in maintenance. So if you didn't do it yet, you've got another week. You've got, you've had another week, and it, you have two days left of Clash of Wills. So go finish it if you didn't yet. Um, anything else you want to say before we head out, Rune? Uh, no, I think uh, we've covered all for this um, this news. Yeah. All right. Then I will see you guys. Um, either I'll do a video tonight or tomorrow or just, you know, on Thursday. We'll see what happens. Anyway. All right. See you then. Thank you. Thank you.